In two days, President Joe Biden will travel to Milwaukee. That is the second time the president has been in the Badger State in a matter of months and the third time this year. Political reporter Will Keneally has more on what we're expecting from this trip. Will? Well, we don't have many details from the White House yet on the visit, but they do tell us that they will expect Biden will talk about his economic policy and how that's impacting small businesses here in Wisconsin. Now, it was back in August, the last time the president was in Milwaukee, and we spoke to a Biden campaign spokesperson over the weekend about why the focus here in Wisconsin. And we are investing early and often in this state because we know that it's going to be incredibly close like it always is in Wisconsin. And so the president, who is facing re-election, is making his second trip to Wisconsin in a matter of months. He'll be in Milwaukee on Wednesday. Wisconsin is one of two states that the Biden campaign is piloting a new way of organizing, uh, focused on young voters and African-American voters. Uh, so it is going to be close, but we are putting in the work to win next November. The campaign told News 3 Now they're working on ad campaigns targeting specific groups of voters, including those in Wisconsin. It's not the first time groups have worked to make inroads into minority communities in Wisconsin. The Republican National Committee created a Hispanic Community Center in Milwaukee in 2021. And as a party, we have to show up in communities that have been habitually Democrat and talk about the values that we share in common. Faith, freedom, family, security, economic prosperity, the American dream. And this is what this community center is going to be part of helping to spread the message, helping to talk about the Republican Party, helping to know people across your state. At the same time as the president's visit, a Marquette poll from late October shows he has a negative 14-point favorability rating. More people dislike him than like him. Wisconsin, look no further, is a state that when you put the president's agenda at the ballot box, especially what we saw in April with the Supreme Court election, it is a winning one. And of course, stay tuned to News 3 Now throughout the day Wednesday for full coverage of the president's visit.